I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. Our New York conference is going to be held on April 3rd, so in a few short weeks, and this is going to be our most diverse event yet. Zalera Health is our keynote. We're going to give you more details as they come. Save the date. With the challenges facing the industry right now, it is more important than ever to hear from the experts in the field. We also publish our first report on psychedelic investing trends, and it's available for purchase on the website. This week, we had some sobering news from Canopy Growth. The cannabis giant said it was closing two indoor growth facilities, laying off 500 employees and taking a charge of between $700 and $800 million. The company said that it made these indoor grow investments before it got cleared for outdoor grows, which of course are much cheaper. There will certainly be a ripple effect from this move throughout the industry, and we'll keep you up on that. Tilray's stock got slammed after the company missed its fourth quarter earnings. They came in with a negative 62 cents. Their revenue of 46 million did increase by 202% over last year, but they also missed estimates there. The net loss for the quarter was at eye-popping $219 million. Kronos Group didn't even deliver their earnings. They said they're gonna be late. Now, it wasn't all gloom and doom out there. Sarah's Group Acquisition and Sarah's Acquisition Corp closed on an IPO of a $120 million SPAC. That's a special purpose vehicle. They began trading on the NEO exchange using the symbol CERE.UN. Bruce Linton is starting a SPAC as well called the Collective Growth Corporation. They intend to trade on the NASDAQ, people behind me, with the symbol CGROU. The company plans to raise $150 million. Curaleaf said it will acquire the Colorado-based edibles company Blue Kadu for an undisclosed amount. Halo Labs is acquiring Canalift Delivery for $3.4 Canadian million dollars in Halo shares. Canalift is also helping Halo secure a non-broker private placement of up to 700,000 Canadian dollars. Village Farms International and Emerald Health Therapeutics said that they've entered into a settlement agreement to resolve their dispute over their joint venture called Pure Sun Farms. And that's it. I'm Deborah Borchar reporting for the Green Marker Report from Times Square.